Hi special friends, welcome to Mrs. Ashley's Learning Emporium where we read, write, learn, and play. I'm Mrs. Ashley. Today we are going to have recess with my friends at Pumpkin Foots. I'll tell you a story that I created using one of their products. Welcome to Recess with Pumpkin Futs. I am your host, Miss Rebecca, and today we are joined by Mrs. Ashley. Can everybody say hi, Mrs. Ashley? Hi, everybody. <laughs> so today, before we get started, just like every other day, we're going to take a minute and thank all of the essential workers out there, um, all the, the doctors, the nurses, the, the I was going to say detectives. Um, all of the uh, all of the uh, delivery people, all the grocers. We are really, really um, thankful that you are working right now and making everything possible for us. Um, so thank you. Um, and then I'd also like to invite Mrs. Ashley to join me in thanking all of our grown-ups. I'd like to thank, or I'd like to, in, uh, I'd like to also invite you to look to wherever your grown-up is, and on the count of three. We're going to say thank you, grown-ups. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Thank, thank you, you grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you for thank you for helping me uh, thank all of our grown-ups, Mrs. Ashley. No problem. Would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes. So as Miss Rebecca told you, my name is Mrs. Ashley, and my favorite thing to do in the world is to write stories. In fact, I've written over seven children's books, and I even help children around the world come up with ideas for stories, too, that I get to turn into books. Aside from that, I record lots of videos where I get to have fun with my special friends. And now that we've met Miss Rebecca and everybody watching, you're my special friend, too. <laughs> <laughs> We're excited to be your special friend, Mrs. Ashley. I'm excited. I'm very excited to be here because my friends at Pumpkin Futs, just like Miss Rebecca, oh, they bring a smile to my face every day. <laughs> so I'm happy to be here for recess. We're so happy to have you. Um, we do have a special giveaway today. In fact, four of them. We've got four special giveaways, right? So I'll explain the first two now and the first two later because I think they'll make a little more sense later. Does that sound good? That right. sounds awesome. <laughs> Perfect. So the first two are during Mrs. Ashley's live show today. So we've got a little story time. Mrs. Ashley's gang wrote a special story just for Pumpkin Futs and we are honored and so excited for you to hear this. Um, and after that, she's going to I don't want to give too much away, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> but she's going to, to guide you through a couple of things. And just like our secret word of the day, you're going to type in your response. You're going to type in your guess as to what she is talking about. So we got two of those. All right. Awesome. Yeah, very cool. And then afterwards, we'll go through the other two ways to win. And those are actually going to be announced next Friday live. So. That's going to be kind of special for us too. All right. Did I miss anything? Did I miss I anything? I don't think so. I don't think so either. All right. But well, Miss Rebecca, I think we need to tell our special friends something really important because, of course, we all love to win prizes. That means we need to have one of our good looking eyes, put those good looking eyes on, and put those listening ears on because you'll have to pay extra special attention to have a chance to win. Such a great point, Mrs. Ashley. Thank you for bringing that up. No problem. All right, so to all of our listeners out there, hi, Julieta, hi, Robin. <laughs> um, we do have a 20 second lag, just so you know, ask questions, type in your responses, but we're gonna be a little bit late to the game because, you know, technology, so. <laughs> It is what it is. 
All right, so without further ado, may we present to you Mrs. Ashley. Awesome, hi guys, hi again. Miss Rebecca and Miss Shanique are my special friends and even though you might not see them on camera, they're helping me behind stage. So Miss Rebecca or Miss Shanique, if I miss any questions or comments, please let me know. Today, we are going to read a story, but this story is special because I wrote it just for you. All of my friends who love pumpkin futs as much as I do, you know that they're a very special group of people. And because you're special friends with them, and now we're special friends, I wanted to give you a special brand new story today. So today we're going to hear a story about a little girl named Jade. And Jade has a problem that she needs some help with. Let's see if we can find a special friend to help Jade. Are you ready to hear the story? If you are, give me some thumbs up in the comments. Our story today for you is called The Detective in Jade. And if you had your listening ears on, you heard Miss Rebecca, Miss Rebecca thank some detectives earlier in her speech. And that's because she was pretty excited about her, our story today, I think so. So let's read our story. The Detective in Jade, written by your new special friend, Mrs. Ashley, for her special friends at Pumpkin Futs. Jade was a girl with a busy, brilliant mind, probably just like you. But few had known this. When she fidgeted and could not sit still in class, Jade sometimes would be asked to leave. One day, Jade's class had a special guest. In front of the class stood a woman in slacks and a trench coat. Her hair was curly like Jade's, and this made her smile. Hello, students. My name is Detective Garcia. The guest spoke confidently with a bright smile in Jay's direction. I love to solve mysteries for a living. Jay sat quietly, forgetting to fidget for a moment. Detective Garcia was captivating with tales of mysteries she had solved, even for Jade. She, sat, she had sat attentively on the edge of her seat longer than she had been able to do in quite some time, listening to Detective Garcia's tales. But then the fidgets began and her mind had begun to wonder. After Detective Garcia finished her speech, she walked up to Jade. When I was your age, I had lots of trouble focusing and I had a case of the fidgets too. Jade looked down at her shoes with embarrassment. She had not wanted to fidget or to be unfocused, but it had seemed out of her control. Here, try this, Detective Garcia said, tossing Jade a brightly covered brightly colored rubber pom-pom. When my mind starts to wander, I can focus if I keep my hands busy. Jay looked at the pom-pom with its bright colors and stretchy parts. She began pulling and tossing it from hand to hand quietly. To her surprise, she could concentrate on what her teacher was saying. Jay even made it through her lesson. From that moment on, Jay wanted to be a detective too. She thought it would be cool to solve mysteries. And now that she had something to help her focus, the possibilities were endless. When the bell rang for the day to end, Jay's teacher looked at her with a proud smile. You did so great today, Jade. Jay grinned back. <laughs> Yes, it looks like the mystery of the fidgets has been solved. The end. 
I hope you enjoyed that story, special friends. And if you look closely at our illustration, you might see Jay's pom-pom. And I'm lucky because I have one too. My friends at Pumpkin Fuzz have awesome products and I couldn't wait to put this one in a story. Mrs. Ashley uses this on a daily basis when I need to focus and concentrate too. Did you like that story, special friends? Do you think you would like to be friends with Jay? What about, do you have a case of the fidget sometimes like Jay? I know I do. Miss Rebecca or Miss Shanique, have I missed any of my special friends' comments? No, actually, I think that everyone is okay. This is Shanique here, by the way. Um, everyone is loving the story and everyone is saying it's cool and they are awesome and they love the pom-pom. Hey. Yay, this pom-pom is lots of fun. But guys, of course, I couldn't just let you hear the story. I hope that you would want to read the story yourself. You can actually download a copy of the story and because Mrs. Ashley likes to have lots of fun, you even get a coloring page in the download packet of the story. You will have a chance to bring Jade and the detective to life with colors. And Miss Rebecca, she'll have something to tell you at the end of this session about that coloring page. But for now, are you ready? It's time to see if we can solve some mysteries together. We're gonna get some clues and we're gonna see if we can guess some specific fruits or vegetables. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. I'm excited about these clues. Here we go. Shanique, let me know when you have our first graphic up for clue package number one. It's up for you, Miss Ashley. Perfect. And listen up, guys, before I read the clues, if you get this right, you'll get a chance to win a special prize. So put those detective eyes on so we can solve the mystery. Clue one, this fruit or vegetable often causes a big debate. Some say it's a fruit, but some say it's a vegetable. Hmm, any guesses yet? Next clue. It can be red, but it is green when it first starts to grow. It can be fairly large and round or the size of a grape. Does anybody know yet? What could this fruit or vegetable be? Hmm. Let's read our last clue. If you look closely into our illustration, let's see who is paying extra close attention. You might even be able to see it, or you might have seen it. Miss Shanique, I think you should count us down from three when you're ready to show the answer to this mystery. But first, do we have anybody in the comments? Give us some good guesses. Not yet. Well, we'll give it just a minute. I'll read those clues one more time because I want my special friends to have a chance to win. This fruit or vegetable often causes a big debate. Some say it's a fruit. Some say it's a vegetable. It can be red, but it's green when it first starts to grow. It can be fairly large and round or the size of a grape. And I'll give you an extra clue this time. The size of a grape or a cherry. If you look closely into our illustration, you might even be able to see it. Do we have any guesses yet, Miss Shanique? Not that I can see in the comments, unfortunately. That's okay. Let's count down from three and then we'll show the answer to this mystery. Sure. Are you ready, Miss Shanique? Awesome. Three, two, 
one. <gasps> a tomato! Do you like tomato special friends? Because I love them. I love them when they're green. I love them when they're red. I love them when they're small, like a grape or a cherry. In fact, some people call a tomato that is small a cherry tomato, and some call them grape tomatoes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Someone in the comments just said cherry tomato. Awesome. Who's that friend? So we can give them. Actually, I have something special. So we can give them a big round of applause. What's Julietta Barnett is her name. Julietta Barnett? Yep. Yay! <laughs> round awesome. of applause for you. A big round of applause. Are you ready for our Second mystery, Miss Shanique. Sure, let me just get it up on the screen. One second. Uh, okay, I'm ready now. Okay, here's our second mystery. Now we need to put on our thinking caps and our detective mystery solving abilities for number two. Clues for our detectives. This fruit has many varieties. It grows on trees. It can be red, yellow, or green. Wow, that's an amazing fruit. If it can be three different colors. It can be sweet or sour. If you have a guess already, put it in the comments below and Miss Shanique will let me know. It is loved by many in a pie. Its juice is a fan favorite. It's one of Mrs. Ashley's favorites too. Do we have any guesses? Red, yellow, green. We know it's a fruit. It probably, what was that? Anything as of yet, but I'm watching. <laughs> All right, just let me know, Miss Shanique, because I know that our <laughs> viewers are absolutely brilliant, and somebody in the comments will be able to solve this mystery. I know that it couldn't be an orange, <gasps> because oranges are orange. <laughs> and it probably couldn't be grapes, because I've never seen a yellow grape. Looks like we got an answer. Julietta Barnett guessed apple. Uh, apple? Well, let's see if Julietta Barnett is a great detective. Are you ready to count us down, Miss Shanique? Yep, I'm ready. Three, two, one. It looks like Julietta was right. Julietta, you get another big round of applause. Yay! Yay! That's awesome. I hope that you guys like solving these mysteries with me. Miss Rebecca, would you like to come back? Oops. <laughs> Here she is. Hi, there's Miss Rebecca. Here I am. Did you guess, did you solve the mysteries? Did you guess the answers correctly? They were difficult, but... I guess them. I did. I did. It would took me a while, but I used my noggin. I put on my thinking cap and my my little detective glasses and my ears, and I Perfect. listened to you say it. And I guessed them. Um, and I'd also like to say I think it was Juju, and so I believe that Juju is on Julietta Barnett's account. So you guessed both oh. of them. First. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. What clue helped you figure out what it was? Or did you need all of them? You know, I think I put all of them together to help me figure out exactly what it was because no singular one really said exactly what it was. Does that sound like a, like a detective? That does sound like a really good detective because I think sometimes you can have clues and if you only look at a few, it makes you think one thing, but then you have to look at all the clues and put them together. And I think that will require a lot of focus. I think so. Yeah. And Juju apparently had 
had it to spare. She had so much focus for this. Juju, you're brilliant. I think you are our new detective. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I think she is. Now, um, do we want to reveal the two other um, ways to win the pom pom fidgets? Yes. Okay. So earlier, yeah, <laughs> earlier in this episode, we had two win. Well, really, just Juju. She was a detective, and she won the fidgets, the pom-pom fidgets for this week. So we have two more ways to win that are a week long, hmm, not competition, but uh, a week long giveaway, if you will. So the first one, if you had your listening ears on, you could have heard Mrs. Ashley say something about the illustration of the coloring book that we're gonna have. So what you'll do is you'll either go to our link in our bio for Instagram, or you can just check out our Facebook page. We'll post it. It's a coloring, uh, it's, a, it's a coloring illustration of the illustration that you had up today. Is that correct? It is. Miss Shanique, do you have an image of that coloring page? Yes, I do. Awesome. And this is just, if you guys are anything like me, Sometimes my listening ears work better when I can use them with my good looking eyes. <laughs> Ooh, I completely understand that. It's, it's Also, if I can butt in, sure. the link is actually on our Facebook page and also, yes, in our bio. So wherever is best for you to find the link, we encourage you to go and download that right now. Yay. Yeah. Awesome. You can color it. And then, did you have something to say, Mrs. Ashley? I do. When you go to the free library, Mrs. Ashley's free library, you get an entire packet. So you get okay. the you get the uh, title page illustration. So you know what story you're reading. Mm -hmm. You get the actual story. You get the coloring page, and you get two extra illustrations: one Ooh. of Jade and one of Detective Garcia and Jade. And I think those might help with the second way you can win a prize. Do you want to tell them, Miss Rebecca? I will. So the first way, as we just discussed, um, will be a, a coloring book. And at the end of our um, of our, our little week, next week, if you color it in and you post it onto either Facebook or Instagram and do the hashtag, I think it's Mrs. Ashley Loves Pumpkin Puts is our hashtag for this coloring <laughs> illustration. Right, so if you if you color in our the, her, the illustration and then post it onto Instagram or Facebook, hashtag Mrs. Ashley loves pumpkin fuzz, and you'll be entered into a drawing for next week's Friday. So we'll put you all in a hat, all your names are gonna be in a hat and we'll pull them out next, next week. Awesome. We should There's also that. let people know that even if you watch this during the replay, you can also be entered in. So if you watch this on our page after it's live, you can still win. You can, you can still win. It's not, it's not time sensitive. I mean, you got a week, that's a long time, right? So, all right. So our fourth and final way to win a pom-pom fidget. And it's personally, I think one of my favorite ways. So you can develop a story idea for Jade. Isn't that cool? You can figure out where she is, what she's going to do, what clues, anything. So DM us, direct message us for your ideas for Jade, and Mrs. Ashley will pick one and write about it. Isn't that cool? Yes, and you'll even have your name listed with special thanks for your original idea. So they're going to get a byline? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's very cute. <laughs> That's very, very cute. Where should, where should individuals message us to send the ideas? Facebook, Instagram, or email? They should direct message us um, on either Facebook or Instagram. That works. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. If there's any last minute questions for Mrs. Ashley, please don't hesitate. You can uh, you can ask us right over here. Um, there, uh, Shanique is putting up um, the develop your very own story for Jade. 
um, and message us on Facebook and Instagram in order to perhaps win another pom pom, our, our cool little fidget <laughs> story today that Jade had. Um, so yeah, and if um, if we wanted to contact you, oh, Juju's saying, wait, what? Wait, what, what? <laughs> I think she wants us to go over the last and final way that they can win something. So if we don't mind, can we go over one more time the last yeah. way to win? Miss Rebecca, you want me to give it a shot this time? You please give it a <laughs> shot. Yes. <laughs> in my programs, we do this often. Sometimes hearing it from a different person helps it make a little bit more sense. So I write stories all the time, but I always need fresh new ideas. I have an idea that Jade's stories will be a complete series. So I need your help to give me some ideas for some of Jade's detective adventures. What type of mystery might she solve? What types of challenges might she have when she's solving those mysteries? Does she meet any friends along the way? And here's the catch, Juju. It doesn't have to be a complete story. You can just give me an idea. Maybe a birthday present is lost and she needs to find it. Maybe all the erasers in the classroom go missing. If you guys give me ideas, I might pick your idea to include in a story about Jade. And I almost forgot, Miss Rebecca. We sure. come up with these ideas and they don't just stay in our in our mind. You'll direct message pumpkin futs on Instagram or Facebook with your idea. And will we give them until Friday, like the coloring page? We will. Well, we'll give them until Friday and then maybe Friday morning because then you have to go through them and decide which one you want to write about. That is true. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. So get your story ideas to us and we'll give them to Miss Ashley, Mrs. Ashley, um, and, uh, and you'll get another chance to win a pom pom fidget. All right, I hope we answered Juju's, uh, Juju's question um, thoroughly. I think that you did a much better job at explaining <laughs> it than I did. Obviously, you are a writer and uh, words are your friends. They are. I love all the words. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you do love all the words. All right. Um, so I, how can we um, contact you, Mrs. Ashley, if, say, somebody in, that's watching wants to contact you? How would we do that? Well, I'll give you guys the complete rundown. So to see what Mrs. Ashley does and to enjoy some of her programming while we're all at home, and hopefully even after, you can check out Mrs. Ashley's Learning Emporium on YouTube. I upload videos every week and it's lots of fun. We take the stories that I've written and we create activities from them. And then for the month of June, we create stories and things that our characters like to do or challenges they overcome. So we alternate each month and this month we'll be creating lots of stories. So this live is perfect. If you want to connect with me on social media, it's Mrs. Ashley Chesney on Instagram and just Mrs. Ashley on Facebook. And then the website is MrsAshley.com. And there's my favorite tab on MrsAshley.com and it's Mrs. Ashley's free library. You can download The Detective and Jade and other stories that I've written for you to download absolutely free. And they come with coloring pages. That's so cool, Mrs. Ashley. Um, Thank I, you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so very cool and so much information also. I think that we can make that available a little bit later um, so people can click on them. Um, you know, we can share them a little bit easier as opposed to yes. writing them down right now. I think that might be easier for some people. Especially um, because my first and my last name are spelled differently. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think that might be it might be might be good for, for us to, to create a little link for those. Don't worry, um, friends. I'm here in the background, so I will <laughs> make sure to put that on Facebook and have all of that information for you guys. Thank you. Thank Shanique. you so much, Miss Shanique. Yes. 
And thank you, Mrs. Ashley, for developing that super cool story about Jay for us, about the whole series. We're, we're excited over here at Pumpkin Buds. Oh, I'm so excited too and honored that you guys had me on recess and you let me meet all your special friends. Yes. We love all of our special friends and you are our new special friend. Yay! <laughs> right, well, thank you again, Mrs. Ashley. I think, I think we're done for today. Awesome. Um, yeah. We say, uh, can we, we say goodbye together for our, our yeah. special friends. <laughs> Goodbye, Bye. special friends. Bye. See Bye. you Bye. next Bye. time. Bye. <laughs>